My name is Michael Wurtzwamp and I'm coming testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. I just made this video and I left something out. It's one of the, the most controversial video that I'll probably ever make um, because it has to do with something really, really blasphemously superficial, but there's a divine revelation in it that Jesus himself told me he wanted me to testify about. Okay, it's a divine revelation that he gave me um, through a lucid prophetic nightmare. So what happened in the dream, bear with me because you might even be offended by what I'm saying, but Jesus himself is the one telling me, I need you to make this video. And I've been arguing with him for like the last month saying, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make this video. This is the most controversial video I'll ever make. So the devil does not want me spilling this. So uh, if you see my testimonial, number sign it's called testimonial number sign one you'll see my face um that was when god anointed my life with dreams visions and revelations so in the midst of this like the beginning of the part of my walk with god where he started anointing me with prophetic nightmares so that i could get to know the devil and these demons more to understand what they are um i uh i, I was terrified of these things um so i told my pastor they won't go away i want them to go away uh my pastor Clayton and Pastor Jenny told me, um, when you tell a demon of the devil to get away from me in the name of Jesus Christ, they know they have no choice but to go. So even if they say no, then you have to, uh, then you say, uh, well, you have no choice in the name of Jesus Christ, get away from me. And they have no choice but to flee. They never, ever have never do. They have uh, maybe a couple times when God's granting you revelation, but they will not go in his name from me because I, my life is anointed to be around these things so that God can educate me in them. He's not going to just make them go away. Everything was created for his own purpose. So I, um, I would tell them, go in Jesus name, go in Jesus name when I get attacked by demons, cause I didn't want to see him. It's terrifying. So, um, they, they would just say no, no. And they still do today. Um, because you now it's just kind of like a habit. I know that they're not going to go away, but it's kind of like a habit. So, when God started anointing my life with prophetic nightmares, he granted me a revelation. This is going to be really controversial. Bear with me. A lot of you might even be offended by this. Um, but I'm really, really sorry. You have to do what God tells you to do. And he's telling me to do this. I've been arguing with him because I, if, if, this is really controversial. So I am in a prophetic nightmare. And I'm huddled with like six other people. Like we're praying. Like you're an, at an AA meeting and you're praying. Like, like uh, grant me the serenity. But it was, it was like a huddle. And I knew that I was praying with these things, but God granted me the discernment to understand that I was in the prophetic nightmare before any of the demons did. Like they were in a trance understanding what they were going to do, but I knew that they were demons. So I understand, like I'm praying with these things. So I grab my right hand and like bacon, there, there was an old lady next to me. The demons took forms of humans like they always do. Little old lady, 90 years old, super small, super skinny, super old, white curly hair, like an old lady, but wearing a purple dress, like, um... And she was smaller, like a 25 year old that lives in Beverly Hills. It's just a purple dress. I grabbed my right hand and I smacked her on the back of the neck. And I said, in the name of Jesus fucking Christ. And I said it super powerfully, devoutly, like loud, like passionately. I said it and she turned, got stood straight up, turned beat white. I mean, uh, uh, uh not beat red, uh, pale white. Like she was dead, terrified. Look on her face of petrification. Like she, I just traumatized her and she, uh, fell backwards this way like stiff as a board and all the other demons scurried off like roaches i woke up in god and i'm like i'm talking to god instantly i'm like lord jesus and i'll vote like this doesn't make no sense i can't tell demons in consciousness to get away from me in your name but i just said in the name of jesus fucking christ for educational purposes i'm talking to him about it i just said in the name of jesus fucking christ to that demon and i practically killed it if you could kill a demon i would have killed it with that and God instantly spoke to me and said, Mike, I know what you said, but how did you feel in your heart when you said what you did? Like I said it, you know how the word Michael, the name Michael is a rhetorical question. What Michael means is who is like God? It's like a sarcastic rhetorical question. Like who is like God? The answer is no one's like God. So, um, oh Lord Jesus, help me, please. The devil's on me right now, super hard. Um, so he, he said, like, what did you feel in your heart when you said what you did? I, I was practically saying, who is like God? Like, like, you understand who I am, demon? Like, I know what you are. I'm a child of God, and I serve God, and he's my Abba, and he loves me. And 
who do you think you are messing with me? That's what my heart was saying when I said in the name of Jesus fucking Christ. That's what my heart was saying. So God was explaining to me in that moment that nothing that you ever say matters at all. Superficially, nothing that you ever do matters at all. The only things that matter is how you're feeling in your heart when you say what you do and what you're feeling in your heart when you do what you do. All that you're judged by, all that God cares about is your intentions and your heart and the reason you do the things that you do and the reason you say the things that you say. So I thought I would put that out there. There's a really small video, so I, I really believe there's going to be a lot of people watching this. And I know that I'm going to get a bunch of feedback. But humble yourself, open your hearts and minds, and understand who God is. God is not superficial. He's very in-depth. He's very, uh, very, he's a realist. Like, um... And he takes what the devil makes for bad and he makes it for his good. Um, but you could learn something from this. The point is, is that nothing that you say or do matters. God is watching your heart and mind. And whatever you're feeling in your heart when you say what you do, whatever you're feeling in your heart when you do what you do, your intentions and your motivation is what you're judged by. So um, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Go to a church. Accept him as your savior. Repent of your sins. He's watching everything you do. He will eventually prove himself to you and read the Bible to get to know him. The end is honestly near. God bless.